anchored up in the harbour in Yamea on our way to Port Moselle in our beautiful tender where we'll get some supplies for our trip to Vanuatu, do our checkout with immigration and customs, fuel the boat up and off we'll go. At Port Moselle they have a great uh, fresh, fresh fruit and vegetable market and the clothing market you can see here. Um, you've got to be there early though because most of the fruit and veg is gone by 11.30 which is their clothing. We're off doing immigration this morning. We want to find our way around and get it all done before the close of trade. This is 11.30. Oh, well, that's it then. We're all signed out. Took about two hours, I guess. And uh, just a little bit of walking, but absolutely no drama at all. So, back to the boat. Um, go and fuel up. And on to Vanuatu. On our way out of Numea, pulled into the Isle of Casey. Uh, thought we'd go for a little afternoon adventure stroll. Who can climb the coconut tree? You? Right, oh, sweet. Can you climb the coconut tree? How high can you go? Oh, no. Arrived at Vanuatu. Perfectly cruisy crossing, not much sailing, good fishing, smooth seas, ten other mates to play with. As a down under rally participant, we were greeted on the beach by a traditional welcoming. Uh, also some welcoming dancers, other explanations of traditional ways of life, and fire walking, which was very, very interesting. Couldn't believe it, didn't get blisters on their feet. And uh, food explanations of uh, the different types of food and the way they cook them. And a tour of the local village. And I guess one of the highlights for me was a game of soccer with the local children. It was really, really fun.
makeshift secondary school after the original one was damaged by the tsunami earlier this year. Tried to pick one of these canoes up. I don't know how they managed to move them around. They're quite heavy. There was a few comments flying around in the group about my building skills and whether I could build a house straighter than that. Today we took a short uh, dinghy ride over to Mystery Island. Um, Argy and I had a wander around with a few of the other rally participants and then um, got the snorkeling gear out, went into the water there and had a bit of a look around. There was warm water, very warm water bubbling up out of the, out of the, off the bottom um, and we couldn't believe how many beautiful um, tropical fish there were and how quiet they were you can see these photos coming up they have a little bit of a uh, like an activity activity area for when the cruise ships come in they drop people ashore here spend a day there snorkeling and shark watching and um, stand up paddle boarding kayaking all that sort of stuff it's, it's a very 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 lovely little island to get a photo of a Moorish idol the whole trip. These ones were so quiet. Saddled butterfly fish. It took us a long time to identify this fellow, and it's a clown chorus. They do go through so many colour changes. Red fin butterfly fish. Valley, there were schools of these. I think these are devil fish. They just look like a black hole, don't they? A school of very cute humbug. I know, you all know coconuts, right? <laughs> this is this is a tri coconut. Yeah, this is a tri one. And this is the one that they use yeah, to extract the milk that you buy in the supermarkets. They don't use the green one, no. They use this when they ripe. They're ready. From like this. So we try they just look how we has the coconut just using a stick without a knife. Like coconut is like a, a tree of life, we call it a tree of life, coconut. We, we, with coconut, we can do everything. We can build a house using the leaves. You see the ropes, the roots. We tie up the house, the trunk. We can just cut it up. The bows for the house, or timber. And even, yeah, we have the fruit. We can just get the flask in, drink the water from the coconut. Our leaves, we use as uh, medicine. 
if you cut yourself, stew the leaves, then put in your wand and it hits so easy. Okay. Alright, so you just look how it's gonna hurt the coconut. Okay. Like I was telling you, coconut is like a super hunter. Yeah. The coconut is against the viral coconut. It's the only coconut. Yeah. You have a supermarket, you go there, you buy this. Yeah. I, I have mine. This is this is my supermarket. So you just look. <laughs> That's it. Wow. And after that, the leaves, you look at the leaves, this one's these are coconut leaves also. So you're gonna do it. Crack open a coconut just to see if you can. That's why we don't have a coconut in anything. We have everything. We have everything that we use. You might say don't try this at home, but wow, just two curled up strips off a coconut leaf and a swift hit with the fist and look, completely in half. The warriors are demonstrating here how they can stack some leaves together um, and it enables them to carry the injured warrior back to safety. Uh, this guy here is a chief and he uses a, a stick to smell um, and he could tell uh, which one of the people in the crowd was the bad one. Um, and they just gave him a, a shell to put in his pocket and sure enough he picked it. Whilst the warriors were waiting for the fire to heat the rocks up, um, one of them demonstrated how he could weave a basket. Probably took him about uh, less than five minutes, I'd say. But it was really good. The warriors are removing the fire and the ash off the steaming hot rocks. They did show us how hot they were by tipping a glass of water. Here the chief is preparing himself to walk on the on the hot rocks. He says he uses deep thinking and focus. I'll tell you what, I think I need a lot more than that. Yeah. <laughs> 